rough mates welcome to in the rough with liam today's guest very special are you ready for this he's had a putt for a 59 he's played in the open and he's quit golf Right, golf mates, here's the man, Adam Hodkinson. We are at the Hallows Golf Club, your home now. Yeah. Or has it been your home for a long time? It's been here for a long time, yeah. We know each other over the years, so we've got a lot to catch up. But basically, this lad has had a putt for a 59, he's played in the open, and he's quit golf. So we're going to get into all this today, Adam. Three hole match. Yeah. You know the score, we play for a fiver. We'll play three holes, I'll have a shot in the middle. I take it you scratch, so are you up for it? Up for it. You can see off first. Okay. Well, oh, you've picked an hard hole in my eyes, Adam. Tough hole, this one, yeah. This Especially is with windy. this wind. Little fade off that red flag. And he's not even, got, I've not even got a shot on this hole, it's short six, so hopefully the next hole is a good one, because we did say middle. Oh, stay there, Adam. Watch this go. I mean, Oh, is that rolled in the bunker? Perfect, that, mate. Don't worry about it. Right, Adam, this is what I don't like. Straight out of the car. Straight out of that red flag, You're an mate. athlete. <laughs> That's right. a great shot, that, pal. That's Thanks. back in the day, that, isn't yeah. it? That's a proper shot. <laughs> right, no pressure. Come on. Shot, Liam. Perfect, oh, the that. wind's straightened that up, hasn't it? Perfect. Oh, it's not, it's not gone very far. Did you take head cover off that one? Yeah, well, the wind, did you not see the gust? It just come backwards, it come backwards. Right, Adam, I'm gonna come straight to it. The first question. So this was a proper competition, satellite competition, just underneath the Euro Pro Tour. Yeah, 1836 Tour it was. You had a putt for a 59. Yes. Was it close to going in? It was a good effort. It was about 25, 30 foot, and I give it a good go, but it didn't go in. 59. So how many people do you know have shot 59? I oh, Jim Purick, but I don't know him. Yeah. There what did a, you shoot that day then? I shot 60, 11 under. A 60, 11 under. Yeah. 11 under. Just don't sound right. That's yeah. just crazy, isn't it? <laughs> so I take it you got the course record, did you? Yes. Yeah. Wow. And I know that year. I think was it 16 or 17? You got another course record at Coventry, didn't you? Yeah, I played Coventry. And that um, was the PJ assistance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's some going that. So this year we're building up to Adam got playing at Book 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 Dale, wasn't Burkdale, it? Dale, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we'll get to there because we've come to my ball now. Are you in that bunker? Or are you past it? I'm past it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a yardage? Please, pal. I think it's everything I've got in it. Playing a long way. You got that about 172, it says Liam. Into the draft. God and Bennett, I'll tell you what, mate. You've hit a cracker there, haven't you? What, this is not a great uh, start, this. Oh, no, a tough shot. start, yeah. I think five will get there. A good one. Pins at the back, so if it's a bit short, it's all right. Oh, come out of it. Hold on. Is that Hold a bounce? No, no, it's past it. You're fine. Oh, that's a wicked bounce. Yeah, you'll be all right down there. Early doors, early doors. <laughs> it's just... You ready? Playing with somebody who's had a putt for a 59, it's not something you do every yeah. week, is it? Brad, what have you got in? One, two, three. One, two, three. Because it's looking links, you know, he's going to get me two. How did you qualify for the Open? So, we played, I was exempt from the first stage, and then final stage, you play two rounds in a day, and top three go through. And where did you play? Uh, played at Hillside. Oh, great course, Just next door to Birkdale, so you could see all the stands up when you looked over. Well, the stand, oh, right. Right, here's one. When is that qualifying then compared to when the Open is then? If you had just said the stands were there, it must it, have been cool. Yeah, it was like a couple of weeks before it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I remember on the 17th, green at Hillside's quite high up. So you look over and you can see all the stands up at Birkdale. So that's a 36 hole that you've got up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. So when you finished your second round, yes. where were you on the leaderboard? Um, I think I was second when I finished. Uh, I think Hayden went out early and shot low. Hayden. McCullen. Right, okay. Um, and then Nick came in after me and he, 
he picked me. Who's Nick? Nick McCarthy. Right, so, so these people you know then, do Yeah, they? Nick was a good friend, played for Yorkshire with him uh, in England and stuff. So did you have up. a nervous wait or were there like a lot of... Horrible wait, yeah. Yeah, did it was you... about four or five hours because I was, was out it quite early. Long? It was horrible, yeah. Just refreshing on my phone in the car park. And when you knew you were in, what was it like? Just massive relief. Yeah, massive relief, exciting. Because yeah. that's what, a goal, isn't it? It's got to be of any goal. Yeah, it? yeah, it was exciting. It's an opportunity, isn't it, to... You know, if you get if you qualify for the Open and play well, you can change your career, can't you? You can, you can. You know. and this is where we're going to get to. Are you yeah. nervous today playing with me? Very. <laughs> well, you, I've only got a short second hole. Right, one, two, seven. What are you feeling? I'm out. Pin's right at the back. I'm going to hit a wedge. I don't think I can get all the way to the pin, but you're in. You're not in a good spot, so You've I'll seen, take not a, seen my shot. I'll take game. a four here. The wind's playing with it, stopping it, drawing to the pin, isn't it? Are you good in the bunkers, Adam? Front edge. Is that not in the bunker? Over it, I think, mate. God, my eyes are deceiving me. They're <laughs> terrible, aren't they? <laughs> we just short that. See what these new wedges are like then, Liam. I certainly will. We've got the right one, yeah. What I, I am going to ask you, so you qualified for the Open. Yes. Did anything change in your life? Like, did anyone come miring you or anything like that? Opportunities or sponsorship or agents, anything like that? Well, I already had a sponsor. Right. At that point, um, so it was good for you know good for us. Um, not not really no, no, not really. I think if you'd have, if I'd have performed well, yeah, you, you know you'd have had a bit more opportunity off the back of it. Well, we'll go about your performance in a bit because okay, I want to no. I want to touch on something I realised when I was there, but I don't know the answer until yeah. I ask you. Yeah. It's good, I'm going to go deep. All right. That's fine. Right. Come on. It's a good shot, Liam. That's just checked up so fast, Good isn't shot. it? Some new wedges, mate. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> but I've got a putt, that's all I can ask for. Right, Adam. Birdie putt. You know the score. Always play for a festive fiver. <laughs> Come on. Birdie putt. Can't believe I didn't have a shot on that hole. That's an hard hole to win that. It is a tough one. What a star! Oh! That were like Aguero! <laughs> I'm not making you putt that. Cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, love it out, pal. We might as well tell them. This is your marker as well. You might as well tell them I've yeah. not I've got a pitchfork ripper and uh, I don't know what I've done with my marker. But then we're going to get Adam on the tee because we're going to go into a bit of playing in the open because it's just something you don't do every week. Right, yours didn't move that much, Adam. It didn't actually, no. It's a good port. It's got. Oh! Just show your pace. Oh. One up. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Jesus, chicken and rice. One up to Adam. <laughs> right, Adam, Bookdale week. Yeah. I want to dive into this now, because I see you on the practice range and that, but practice rounds, who did you play with? Played with Paul Laurie, um, Matt Fitzpatrick. Uh, played with a kid called Con Connor Symes, who's now pro. He's doing really well. Yeah, now. he was amateur at the time, and he, he was very impressive. Was he? Yeah, really good. What was Paul Laurie like? Did he do his own thing or did he have time? He for did you his own thing, but it made you feel comfortable. He was a lovely guy. He does a lot for the young pros in Scotland. So he was, he was he's good at that, you know. Right. He's a nice guy. So that week, I noticed something, and it's only like today I can ask. You had a new, well, you got there with your equipment. You went on the range. I looked at you and I'm thinking, something not right here. You had a new driver, Freewood, from yeah. Rescue Club. Yeah. How did that come around? <laughs> Love getting new gear. Is that what it was? <laughs> well, Pink come on with the track man and um, the numbers were quite good. Um, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have changed all of those. When you say hindsight, why is that? Well, when you look back, some of the, I don't think they were quite right for me. They didn't stay in my bag for a long time after the Open. I went back to my old gear because I performed better with uh, it. Would you say that you just said that was a mistake? Yeah, yeah. Big time. Was it like force on yours? You just go with the no, floor? No, I, I wanted to do it. You know, they, they felt good at the time, but I suppose you've got like good memories with your old clubs, Definitely. you know, and that, that sort of brings you a bit of confidence as well. So I was actually there watching him. We've got, there's a bit of a good story here. So you play with Robert Dinwiddie. Yeah. And Julian Surrey. Yeah. Which, at the moment, now, since then, Julian Surrey's gone on to win. Yes. And at the moment, a good friend of mine is his caddy. Um <laughs> so I'm going to let you tee off. Okay. Because it's more after the Open, which is a great experience we're going to talk to, 
you quit golf and I want to know. I just want to get into that. Yeah. I want okay. to get into that. All right. But you're on the team. Hole two. Know. You've got a shot here. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Three, five, six. Yep. Because you said I've got a shot. I've got my four iron out. I think that'll be all right. Safety first, mate. Yeah. You, you drive well on the last, though. I know. Right. Down off the right, I think, this one. I don't know if you noticed, I've been on tour doing a bit of caddying. <laughs> oh my god, stay there mate. That is absolutely leathered. Come here pal. Happy with that one. <laughs> I don't really get dry, but I'll tell you what, you've absolutely leathered that, haven't you? It Just, won't be up there though, it's wet today. I know, but it's, I'm like thinking to myself, why did you quit golf after, you know? <laughs> I put for 59, playing in the open, but we're going to get to that. How was your open experience so? Good, yeah, really good. Would you change anything? Yeah, I probably would do. Well, we're we'll going to talk about that. that in a minute then. Have I got the right club? Yeah, it's good, that. Shot, Liam. That's nice, isn't it? Perfect. That'll run down, that. Go a long way, that one. Good shot. It's a stinger. Yeah. <laughs> Bolt a stinger, that pal. Coming for you now. <laughs> Five pounds, what a scope that'll be. So he's played in the open. Had a putt for a 59, got two course records, but he's not going to beat Mr. Harrison because I'm not going to be in the rough with Liam. Right, so I asked you on the tee, Adam, there. Yep. Would you change anything about your open experience? So you got in there through the qualifying, you missed the cut, but you still held your own. Yep. What would you change, mate? I think it was just like, you can get pulled in a lot of directions. Do you know what I mean? You've got like local interviews to do and um, like the Sky, the Sky Centre, wanted me on the you know when they do that shot center thing oh of course yeah um so i went for my time there and then it got pushed back like an hour and a half uh waited for that again and then it got pushed back and again that goes with you've your got, practice round you've got stuff. bigger players so it's like i've already played my practice round i'm hanging about and i wouldn't do that now you know i'd go and concentrate on your golf that's not for me yeah if i want to get off i'd get off you yeah. know uh, things like that, you know, it affects you a little bit. Yeah. So I didn't know that. I know you mentioned earlier on about your equipment, but I didn't know that, like the yeah. interviews, because leading up to it, practice rounds, I, I know we'll be carrying with Dan. You don't want to be doing a lot of them. How many practice rounds did you do? I played every day, but I was all right with that, I think. Is that yeah. adrenaline? Yeah, you'd, well, you know, when you're playing every day anyway, you don't, you don't really get burnt out, I don't think, just playing golf. Uh, I'd never seen Burtdale before, it was a tough course, so. I think it was important to get out on the course. You changed coaches a couple of months before you qualified. Yes. Because Dave, from the show, obviously with your coach. Yeah, yeah. You went to a coach from previously. Yeah. You went to the gym. Yeah. And you went heavily on the stats, didn't you? I did, yeah. The reason I'm bringing this up, because we've got that Emma Radichow, she just won the US Open in tennis. Yeah. Through her coach. Yeah. And now, looks like someone's grabbed hold of her and he's gone. Right. So I'm just going to ask, was that a good move, bad move, or did it make no difference? I think at the time I thought I was doing the right thing. Right. And it's, I wouldn't say I've got regrets because everything I did, I thought I was doing the right thing for my golf. Right. In hindsight, looking back, I'd have probably done things differently. Is that with the coach or gym? Or? Yeah, I think, well, I think gym isn't, isn't a massively bad thing. I lost like two stones, so your body changes quite a bit. Will that change your swing? Maybe, potentially a little bit. I might have not have lost all that weight, uh, but I thought gym was important, but Maybe the coach side, it went from sort of, Dave was very, Dave had been a really good player, you know, so he knows how to get it round and um, he did a lot of shot shaping and stuff with me, which was nice, you know, you, you're sort of free on the course, you, you haven't really got any swing, swing thoughts. You're more thinking about a fair yeah, draw or straight yeah. one, aren't you? Um, and I changed coaches to one of my old coaches who was a bit more technical uh, and I, I wouldn't say it, everything that I did, I thought I was doing the right thing, you know, right. in hindsight, maybe I play better when I'm not thinking about it that much, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So did this start little doubts or anything, or? Yes. Yeah, you did start playing poorly after the Open, didn't you? Yeah, well, I, to be honest with you, I played poorly that year. So 2016, I played great. The year that I qualified for the Open, I was struggling already. Uh, just played well on that day, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and yeah, after that, it's sort of like a confidence knock and then you, you lose a bit of confidence and you can't do that in golf, you know. Did you go into stats as well then after that? Yeah, I was heavily into the strokes gained, which I, which I do think is really good. What I think you need is maybe someone else to do it for you. Do you know what I mean? When you're looking at it all the time. So if Give you me go, an example. If you go in, so I, I think I was a good putter, always been a good putter. And then when I started the strokes gained stuff, 
you know, say if you missed a four foot putt one day, bef before it, it'd just be like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't care, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But you don't miss those often. But then actually physically putting that into the data and you've lost like nearly a full shot, you know, it reinforces so then, that miss. end of the so. round, you put this data in? Yeah, yeah. And then if it's something back, it's like, I'm going to call it negative, neg negative, yeah, yeah look, whatever it's saying, yeah, negativity. negativity. Yeah, exactly, yeah. in your head you'd be like, yeah, you're putting doubts in your head. A little it? bit. Right, right, yeah. putting words in your mouth, is that about A little right? bit, I mean, over time, and then your performance dips, your stats dip, your confidence dip, and it's all a knock-on effect. You know, I think they're, they're really important, the stats and stuff, but maybe I'd have done it in a little bit of a different way. Right, Adam, so you're in front of green, not at a shot. 115, you said. What you got, little wedge? Gap wedge, yeah. Gap wedge. Oh, it's a great story. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. You know Mr. Barlow, don't you? Yeah. So we're in Wales. I said, Steve, get me my gap wedge. He said, is it got a G on it? <laughs> <laughs> That's him all over, isn't it? <laughs> that is Steve, isn't it? Yeah. Is he still topping it? He's just, uh, he's playing out of his skin. Is I, he? I, oh, I, just, I can't. Good lad. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think nobody does, but he's playing out of his skin. Have I finished to win it, That'll mate? That'll do that. Naughty that, isn't it? That'll do, yeah. Bit of delayed spin on that one, Liam. I do apologise, that was a bit... That, I'm going to call that naughty. Yeah. That was naughty, that, pal. Good padding. But, how do you like my drive now, Adam? Yeah, good drive, Can I? Good drive. <laughs> right, pal. Right. That's my drive. Need to hold this then, do I? Well, you don't have to, because you know, part of the first. <laughs> This looks a slippery green, actually. Bit of swing, yeah, a bit of swing on this one. Try and get it somewhere close. You've got an eight iron. Sandwich. I might have to use eight iron. Shot. Look at the grip on that. Do you always chip with no gloves? Uh, yeah, just habit really. Habit. Yeah. I always chip with a glove, but I, I can't put. I don't think it makes a difference really. It's just habit. Maybe not on this hole. Eh? That's a bad leave there for me. It is. <laughs> what I am going to say, fantastic drive. Thanks, mate. I've just dropped my pitch mark. It was 25 yards <laughs> short of the green. Do you want it out, Liam? Uh, yes, please. Oh. oh. I mean, I'll take it, but I do like putting them in. So is that all square chops? Oh, nothing gets past him, does it? Yeah, we're trying, we're trying. We've got to hold it. The sun's popping in, the sun's popping out. Oh! All square. <laughs> You feel it, it's about to like book it book down again, is pressure, it? Pressure, the pressure, Pressure's yeah. Pressure's on. <laughs> right, we're going to get on the next hole and we're going to talk about this. A bit of the bad thing, how it ended. Yeah. Because you did quick golf, didn't you? Yeah. Played in the open, had a putt for a 50 round and quick golf. Yeah. But you're back playing golf now. Back playing. You've got a smile on your face. Yeah. A few things have happened. Very interesting this, very interesting this story. Rad, all square. Yeah. You've got your three wood. 480, par five, dog leg right. Yeah. I want to get my shots away before we talk about what happened. Okay, no. Because there is a light at the end of the tunnel, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Hold there. That'll be all right, I think, Liam. Is it going to get blocked off again on in two? Uh, yeah, I think. No, yeah, you'll be you'll be all right there. Get on in two or no chance. Mm. You might be a bit far that. back. A bit far. He said I didn't hit it <laughs> right. So there you go. What he said I didn't hit it well. Alright, uh, Adam's got three wood. Oh, that's class. Don't move, Adam. Let the shot tracer get that. Oh, that's exactly what you said. Is that position happy that, here? Happy with that one. Oh, I bet you will. How many shots have I got on this hole? Zero. Zero? <laughs> right, Adam. So after Bookdale? Yeah. You said you started playing poorly? Yeah. Being a pro, trying to be a pro, costs a lot of money, doesn't it? It does. And there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders, isn't there? There is, yeah. 
And like you said, you did things what you wish you didn't do. So it all adding up, all yeah, adding up. Yeah. So what happened then for you to just quit golf altogether? So, sort of end of 2018, Lucy got pregnant. Um, so we had a little boy on the way. Right. Uh, financially, it was difficult, you know. Um, I had an opportunity to set up a mobile pizza company. A what? Yeah. So I went over to Naples. We got a Land Rover Defender converted with a oven in and started doing mobile pizzas. So you stopped playing golf? Yeah. Because it was financially not viable. And yeah. Don't take this wrong. Did you believe in yourself anymore? I'd lost a lot of confidence, you know. I right. struggled, so. So you've stopped playing golf, played in the open, and then now went to training to be a pizza man in yeah. Naples. Yeah. I know you've got, what do you say, a Range Rover, a Land Rover? We've got a, a Land Rover um, Defender. Right, there's a picture there, if we can yeah. see that. Uh, with the oven built into it. Right. So now you're a pizza maker. What pizza, would you call it? Pizza Yolo, they're called. Pizza Yolo. So what yeah. do you do there? We make pizzas. So at the minute, we pitch up uh, like three or four different wet venues a week. Uh, and then we also do corporate events and weddings and private parties at weekends. And uh, But we've just got a restaurant that we renovating at the you? moment so hopefully that'll be open before christmas and when did you start playing golf again just this year start of this year yeah so i had a few years out really more appalling you know what i'm not asked you go on like an idiot go on what's your handicap plus three at the minute and you've only given me one shot on three holes and the ball's here <laughs> he's 30 yard down there i've come across that one right mario you think i've got about 240 about 240 bad drive. i've got four right i'm just thinking of trying and pop it down there yeah Nice little fade down there. You are going to, well, this is going to set up as a draw, but you are going to be on in two, aren't you? I hope so. With like an eight iron, probably. Hopefully. Right. It's a good shot, Liam. That's gone with win, that. That's I'll a good shot, what. that. Great shot. Adam. Is it come on? here, come here. Cameraman, come here. Come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What a shot. Great shit. shot, Liam. Great shot, that pal. Awesome, mate. Yeah. Have I got a shot on here? That was <laughs> class, that, wasn't it? That was <laughs> boom. Definitely not now. Right, what have you got? I've got nine iron. Down, down well, off. I hit four iron, you've got nine. Well. Are you hit three wood and I hit a dodgy drop? But that iron, I'll... give him the credit. That Great shot, that. that. Great shot. I must have had a good bounce. Right. I'll get down. Just, just Here we go. I'm loving this. This is on the pin. Oh, the wind's just blowing it away, but it's pin high. Just short, front edge. Just short. This is why I eased up on the driver. Yeah. I like putting the dart in first. It's match play, you see. Get in my head. Put the pressure It's not on. like me, that is it. <laughs> right, Adam. Yep. Mine has got deliciously good on it. Very good. Great shot. Would you call it, because we're in Sheffield, a chip butty shot? Chip butty. It was a stunning shot, wasn't it? <laughs> Great Best shot, shot of it in a long time. Great shot. So this is some pressure on this one now. For an eagle, but you are. You are one under, aren't you? No, no, you're level, level. Far, aren't you? Need a good putt here. Just give it a wrap. It's good. Go on, Got then. it, get it! Oh! <laughs> what an effort that was! Oh, I had it. <laughs> that looked good for a minute then, didn't it? What do you want, Spam? It's just not dead yet, Adam, is it? I'm left in that. Oh, yes, please, baby. Adam, I've only ever had one eagle on the channel. Honestly? Yep. Good chance here then, mate. It's not going to get, I'm going to have the best chance I've got. It, you can't leave it short though, mate, can you? Yeah, This is for go. take down somebody who had a putt for a 59. Oh. You can have that, mate. Can I have that? Half, yeah, I'm happy with that now, so uh, i got level par. This is for one under for you, isn't it? Yeah. What were you level? Yeah, bogeyed the first. Good, that. Pad. Yeah, and then birdied that. Yeah. Come on, pal. <gasps> oh, five is a five round, isn't it? Five is a hey, five. I'll tell you what, mate. Uh, <laughs> all I'm going to say is please, please, no, after losing to me, yeah. keep making pizzas. <laughs> and I'm if you need anything, now. listen, I hope you like this series. We've got a lot more interesting people to come. There's no giveaway or anything, but if you can be nice to Adam because he's a top bloke and he's a great player, just come unstuck today, didn't it? <laughs> Adam. Cheers, Liam. Enjoy thanks very it, much, mate. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers, golf mates. Cheers.